Well, good evening. Thank you all for being here. This is truly a, an amazing turnout for what I know is going to be an excellent is, is an excellent event. Um, this is my first time. I'm here in, in Macomb just about three months, and this is my first town and gown, and I really am thrilled to be here, and I, I hope all of you have had a chance to meet Nancy sitting up front over here. I know she was around and making the, make, making the rounds and trying to get to meet as many of you as she could, and I'm glad to, that, that she's able to join us as well this evening. I have, I want to reflect a little bit on, on the last couple of months, last few months here, my time being in Macomb and, and Western, and starting to think about some of the things that have been going on, and, and there's a lot of good things that have been happening, and I've really been thrilled. I, as I thought about this, I thought this was a perfect opportunity to share a request with everyone here this evening. And I'm going to get to that in just a moment. I know that if you've been out and you've listened to me in the past couple of months, I've talked a lot about some of the things that I've really come to appreciate about being here in Macomb. How the community and the people in the university have come out and welcomed us with open arms and, and been all about and uh, just trying to make us feel completely at home here in Macomb. And you really have done a phenomenal job at that because we really have gotten to, to a great feeling of welcome, and, and I know, I, I'm sure I can speak for Nancy when I can tell you that we are truly grateful for this wonderful reception that we've, we've received. But here's where my request comes in, and I want you to share this request with everybody that you can, friends, co-workers, family members. I want you as a community, to be as welcoming to all of our students, to all of our faculty, our staff, and our visitors, as you have been to me and, my, and, and to Nancy. I really am I'm calling on you to put that same energy, compassion, and intention that you've demonstrated to us into welcoming others. Whether they're here for a day, a week, four years, or permanently for decades to come. And I can tell you I've heard from so many people how Macomb just grows on you. You come here, you talk about only being here for a couple of years, and then people stay. And I've heard that from people who told me that multiple times, many stories. So Mayor Inman and I have really been working hard trying to, leading a group, we've had a lot of good participation with this, in a group called Moving Community Forwards. We've had three of these, actually we've had six sessions over three days. Two of them out in the community in various locations, and one actually that really resonated last night at the university. Last night's forum was really a, lot, a large number attended from our students, and quite frankly, some of the things that I heard from our students was, was really heartbreaking. Not just as a president, but as a member of the community. Many of our students and members of our community feel disenfranchised and marginalized. Some feel unwelcome, confused, and scared. I heard from students who came to Macomb because we have a reputation for being open and inclusive. They've loved their experiences at Western, but because of some of the events that have been going on recently in particular, they just don't feel comfortable here anymore. And in fact, some of them have changed their plans to stay here for graduate school. We need to change that. And that change needs to start here tonight with everyone not just here, but also beyond here. We are, I know, working hard as a community to ensure that we are inclusive and welcoming. That's what these forums that we're hosting are all about. They're a start. They're certainly not the finish. They're a start to rectify what's occurred 
and to help all of us come to terms to become a welcoming and inclusive place. It's going to take more than just these community forums. I've said many, many times, Western needs Macomb. And we need Macomb to be here for Western in all ways. As a community, we need to be intentional in our choices, our actions, our words, and our behaviors. We must embrace the diversity and all the richness that that diversity brings to our community and to our university. University can't do this alone. We can't be in silos. Each of us has the ability to be a change agent for the pet, to set the right tone and the right direction, to educate individuals and raise awareness, to speak out, to right the wrongs. Please join me and, and the mayor working not just tonight, not just tomorrow, but every single day to ensure that Macomb and Western returns to that reputation for being a wonderful community for all to live, to work, to learn, and that we value and support a very diverse community. I thank you, all of you, for coming out. I thank all of you for supporting Western. You've been a tremendous ally and a tremendous asset and a great partner for everything that we're trying to do, and thank you all for being here tonight. Really has an honor to be serving as Western's acting president, and I can tell you I'm thrilled. Nancy and I got out last week. We got our driver's license. <laughs> We're now here as official residents. Appreciate it and enjoy the evening. Thank you.